Skid Road bums. They were seen as derelicts. And those are the names that we used to describe people. The lowest working class. The blood, sweat, and tears. The puke, piss, and shit. <laughs> An iconic symbol has returned to the downtown east side, restoring part of the city's skyline to what it looked like for so many decades. The famous W sign is back on top of the Woodward's building. It takes a lot of people, some heavy equipment, and 660 LED light bulbs to turn what looks like a red-orange block into a W. Not just any W either. This is the sign that will once again proclaim the location of the Woodward's building. He voted against Woodward's, even though he says he didn't. He's been a negative person in the last three years. I voted against, not against Woodward's, I voted against the management. I think the councillor Sullivan needs to look at the way that he doesn't understand procedures, mm -hmm. how he doesn't stick to the topic. Certainly over the last three years, there has been a lot of division and a lot of bickering. Because it's an icon, a symbolic uh, element of our skyline that I think uh, everyone is fond of. The original six-story Woodward store opened in 1903, but the neon W wasn't put on top until the 50s. When the additions to the original building were demolished, the W was taken down, but it was in no condition to be used again. This is an exact replica of the original sign. The original sign, when we took it down, was barely holding itself together. It was rusting. You could put your fist through it. Turning the new three-ton sign into the old familiar landmark is a moment of history that many didn't want to miss. The new sign will one day be the historic old W sign. This is part of the story of Woodward's.